Hi, this is Natalie from Line Not Arrow from the Netherlands. And yeah, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, because I received, not received, I have a few new subbies um, since a few days uh, because uh, Stacy uh, married from uh, Two Sister Jam Facebook group posted in her Facebook group my channel because I was heading towards 7k and I had like five short on subscribers and it took me days so I we were talking and chatting and I said well something not so important but very strange <laughs> because it's taking so long um, I, I want to get to 7k and the last five is taking forever but with thanks to her post I gained more subscribers and now I'm at 7k yay <laughs> and yeah well it's a magical number I don't know how it works because when you first start you are thinking 50 is a lot then you think oh 100 subbies is a lot and then you go to 200 and when 200 to 5 and then 1000 is the magical number and then you go 1000, 2000, 3000 so yeah Seven was a magical number, but now I'm looking <laughs> towards 8,000, of course, or, well, maybe even more. I, I don't know. We will see. But I'm very thankful you all subscribed and um, made my 7K. It was something fun. And those of you who uh, follow me for a long time already know that the past week wasn't really fun. Uh, two weeks, actually, now. Uh, there was a passing from a family member and he's um, very young for us very sudden although it wasn't sudden but I can't explain too much about it um, because it's very private also to uh, the family close to her um, but it shook me up quite a bit uh, it still does but I also think I need to do things that makes me happy <clears throat> And I'm doing much better. And I also want to thank everybody for uh, the, uh, well, the kind messages you sent me on YouTube and also on in the Facebook group um, to support me. It really means a lot um, reading all those messages. So, yeah. And I hope I don't sound too sad anymore. Although I'm a little bit sad, but I also want to... Um, I, it sounds weird, but when something like that happens... I always am amazed how the world still keeps keeps turning and at the same time I'm thinking yeah why not because all the other people are doing their thing just like me trying to live the best life they can and of course you need time to well to grieve and to be sad but you also need to balance and do fun stuff to help heal yourself and now I'm starting almost to cry but I really want to do more fun things I couldn't do a lot I did work on my ja uh, my journal what am I saying journal <laughs> um, and I'm going to keep this as the closure and this is uh, two sister jam lace they send me lace for my birthday and also papers and um, I didn't do a lot well I actually did a lot I think I did a lot this is not finished but I want this tag in the front pocket and I also added um, first let me say that I added the Rolodex card from the challenges as pocket on the front side and on the back side I thought it would be fun we have the little elements and you can stick a larger tag in here then this is the final the fourth week challenge with the envelope thing we created together i need to because this is not sitting well and i took the specimen slides in that we created did i do it like this i don't know anymore maybe this is even better yeah, I think this is better. So this is a page that I put in. Uh, you saw me create this in the fourth week. Well, actually, I, I think I... No, I made the envelope in the fourth week. Yeah. But I also added the papers. Um, I think these came with the package with the two sister gem ladies. 
Uh, this is Dutch. Um, some food colored paper. Uh, this is from a checkbook. Also received from the ladies. And I sewn around all the journal pages from the kit, the Two Sister Gem kit. But what I did is I glued, I had two pages glued together. So this is just uh, food colored copy paper and this is printed on copy paper. Glued them together, did some sewing and some edging with lace. Another uh, ledger paper. Oh, this is the only, <laughs> this is the only tag I created. Um, this is the middle signature and of course with the elastic you can take uh, everything out. So there's more over here. I'm just going to do a quick flip through. Um, it's not finished and I'm not sure I will be able to finish this weekend. Probably not. And this is the second signature. Maybe I'm going to add more book pages. I'm not sure yet. I just have to see how thick it's going to be with all the ephemera pieces in. If I'm going to put all the ephemera pieces in. Because I'm not sure if I'm able to finish. And I was thinking about uh, the projects that I did not finish. And it gives me stress. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I start a project and then, well, I don't know what happened, but for the last months, every time something happened uh, that didn't make it able, uh, I wasn't able to uh, actually finish the project because I have this journal not finished. I have the Buzz into Spring journal not completely finished. I have the, what's the other project? I made... Um, oh, I didn't even start a journal with the, um, oh, the forget-me-nots. I didn't create anything. I didn't finish my photographer's work journal yet. And I have everything on my desk ready to put in, but I, yeah, uh, you need, you need to be inspired to do that. I also created one pocket. This is from the freebie pages. I think this is from the booklet we created, the, the trifold. And I this this is all I did. Journal cards. And I'm not going to sew because they are um, very thin this way. And they can slide in like so. And this is the back page. Um, the back side of the cover and I also want to add something over here I think I even need to still burn the edges with the elastic thingies forgot to do that um, but yeah this is going to be the closure because I, I really like the lace and it goes so well with the journal and yeah <laughs> I, I, I'm going to finish it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do everything on camera. I didn't do the signatures on camera too, because I really couldn't, I couldn't film. I, I every time I started to film, I tried to film, but I, I sounded like, I don't know, I, I was, I sounded really sad. And I thought, who's going to watch that video? And I think I'm doing better today. Um, it's a new month. Uh, usually I have kids to play with and I'm going to create uh, challenges, weekly challenges. But I decided, <clears throat> I think it was in May, that I said, well, maybe I'm going to take a break in August. Um, it so happened to be that I uh, accepted to be in a challenge that I completely forgot about because when I accepted... Um, well, the, the invite suggested that I would receive information really quick. Um, but it took, a it, it took a few months. So in my brain, I was... I did know it was there, but maybe because of all the things happened, I completely forgot. And when I remembered, I thought, okay, I need to do that. So I said in the video, I'm going to do, I'm going to be part of a collaboration. So I have to do stuff anyway. Let's, let's do things in August. But then, well, the, the bad thing happened in the family and I was reconsidering. 
Um, but we are going to do challenges, but it's going to be a little bit different than usual. I have to say, I'm not going to uh, make freebies in August. Or well, maybe one sheet at the end. I'm not sure yet, <laughs> but not weekly things. Um, there is so much in the Facebook group um, already to be used. I think if you search very well, you can find a lot to work with. And But I will have a challenge. And, well, you probably say, how are you going to do a challenge if you don't have freebies? Um, I'm not sure if we, you remembered, but I already listed this one. I think it was in May or June. I'm not sure. I know I have it finished already in April. Didn't list it. I did have a promo video of this kit with some background music. I didn't show the page, just print it. So this is the signed, sealed and delivered kit. And I forgot to um, say how many pages are in. It has 26 pages and it's a lot of ephemera pieces. Um, basically, I have one, two, three, four, five, five journal pages and four are collage sheets and one is rather, well, you can actually write on it, but it's mostly coastal themed. No, I have six collage pages, sorry. Um, but I have mostly uh, postal themed items on here. I'm going to show you this. Um, I have uh, large tags, scallop ones, um, journal cards, things you can put on your journal. I even have like these. You can layer these and create your own stamps or not. You can also turn them into paper clips, paper clip stamp. I have this with a lot of elements. There is so much going on on this page already. Uh, um, yeah. Then I have journal cards slash envelopes. More postcards. Um, postal related things. Also a little bit different things, of course, that I thought would be nice to add to the to the other pieces. I also have tiny pieces. So these are two on one page. This one is also two on one page. Then I have very different um, stamps. A lot. More stamps. And these labels. Uh, well, they are not labels. And I see this one is... Uh, um, this one is... Um, not just the right way. I'm, I, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I did it wrong. But it's there. Um, these like are drawer labels. But I really like these to put on a... Um, yeah, on a, on a cover. Then we have index cards. Then you have... Tags with a background thingy going on. You can put more stuff on layer or I have green ones I have blue ones in here then I have little pictures wax seals of course little labels these I really like these and butterflies then we have more little elements to play with And more little elements to play with. And more elements to play with. A smaller size. Pockets. This is one of the journal pages. And I printed them on... Um, this is on presentation paper. And this is on regular paper. And I have to be honest... It is not, there's not a lot of difference, to be honest. My, my, my print prints the same on presentation paper as on regular coffee paper. Um, but this is one of the pages. And we have this one. I'm not sure if you can see very well. Yeah, I think it's okay. This one... 
um, printed on presentation paper and this is on regular paper again presentation paper regular paper presentation paper regular paper and another one on presentation paper and regular paper and I also created an add-on because I thought yeah that's a lot of fun all the ephemera pieces but I do not have a lot of journal pages I don't know why I didn't make a lot of journal papers maybe I because I already had so much um, pages with little bits and bobs that I thought well this is just going to be um, an ephemera package with some journal pages but this one has 17 pages and it's called the add-on but it also has pages that you can easily use in other projects like not postal themed I did add uh, pages with blues and reds so they go well with both the kits well also with the collage sheets that are in this kit but you can also use them in another project and I thought that is nice uh, 17 pages and I also printed every page and that is um, collage sheet on presentation paper and regular paper. So this is one of the collage sheets that is in the add-on kit. We have this one in the add-on kit. And we have this one. this one and this one and I forgot to print this on thicker paper I think yeah I forgot to do that I don't know what happened but but this is one of the back uh, page backing pages then I have another collage sheet regular paper and on presentation paper and these are the background papers um, this is on presentation paper regular paper oh this is the one printed on um, I thought I had it yeah I spent like three hours printing out 17 pages because my printer didn't work and I see a lot of messages in Facebook group where people say my printer suddenly prints half a page. I have that too. And also, um, well, it didn't print at all. <laughs> uh, so I was kind of, uh, how do you say that? <laughs> annoyed. Very annoyed, to be honest. Because I already could have been done if the printing didn't go so bad. But this is on regular paper, presentation paper. Um, but I... What did I do? Oh, I printed it three times. Okay, well, I'm a little bit <laughs> distracted today. This is a background paper. It looks like it's folded. It's not. Then I have this one. This one. This one. One with blues. brown one this one we have one with red so 17 pages in the add-on with a lot of actual writing papers uh, I thought that was a good Thing. and like I said you can also use this in other journals it doesn't have to be only in a postal themed journal um, but these two kits are going to be the August kit even though I already listed the sign seal delivered the first one already it is going to be the August kits both of them I'm going to put them in my Etsy for a special price of course with a discount so it's um, well it's going to be available for almost everyone um, usually I also have freebies for people who are not able to purchase every month uh, the kits and also for the other people of course 
um, but I'm not going to have freebies this month because that is going to give me a more uh, peace because I don't have to think of the challenges every week and create a video. It's going to give me some time off, but I'm going to work with these and I would be thrilled if you all would go work with these too, but if you don't want to, you don't need to. And the challenge is something different. I already said that, I explained. Um, we always work with a hashtag and the hashtag for this month is going to be hashtag challenge your art. And what does it mean? Well, basically you come up with whatever you want to create. You can challenge yourself by creating something. You can go back in the Facebook group and recreate one of the challenges from April. That's okay. Probably have freeze over there too. You can use those too because in April we had grungy kids too. I believe it was in April. I'm correct I'm not sure anymore but we had a grunge your art um, theme going on maybe what it was January and I know that, that I have rather crunchy 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 <laughs> crunchy freebies that go very well with this and the kits that we used the monthly kits from that challenge also go very well with these so I will put these together in one section and call them the August kit but for the challenge if you purchase one of these and and create anything literally anything with the papers and use the hashtag challenge your art in the facebook groups and i um i, I also have to say i didn't ask the facebook groups if they were all going to join in with the challenges but i'm pretty sure they will um i forgot <laughs> um but it's line.arrow of course it is a two sister gem savage art June Journal Tutorials and more and Sweet Pea Papers. So we have five groups uh, doing this challenge and the, the prizes are the digitals again. Um, if you use the hashtag using one of these kits, your um, post with the hashtag uh, will count as two entries. So your name will be in the name picker wheel twice. And if you use anything else it can be in a line dot arrow kit but not this one but if it's like the grungy one from the past or something from your stash using this challenge your art hashtag and create something fun maybe even explain a little bit what you try to do because when you create like a challenge for yourself post it maybe somebody else wants to try that challenge too because that's the idea challenge your art but challenge each other and if you use your own papers or previous line.arrow kits, uh, your post is going to count as one entry. And that's the deal. And it would also be very nice if you say, I use the post, uh, the sign seal delivered kit. Um, I can see straight away, but I know some of the other Facebook group owners have issues recognizing them. So it would be nice if you say, if you use your own things or other things or this one. I hope it is clear what I'm trying to say with the challenges. Uh, if it's not clear, please check out the Facebook group events or ask in the Facebook group and we are going to try and help you out. Um, yeah, this is it for today. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to create. I have a lot of things on my desk that could work, but I also have I have like a Tim Holtz folio that I want to create. I want to create, um, I want to create projects, but I don't want to create a whole journal again. I want to create smaller pieces, uh, not not this small, but um, small journal or a small folio. Um, so that's going to be my challenge <laughs> to start and to finish. Um, but yeah, if you want to join the challenges, well. Uh, you have to be a member of the Facebook group to get the freebies that are already in the Facebook group from the previous challenges. You can check uh, the freebie section. Well, it's not a section really. Um, I add all the freebies under the featured section, but um, that's usually for that month. So if you do a, uh, if you type in freebie in the search bar, 
then a lot of freebies will pop up. Um, and I also want to tell everybody again that you are able to, you're allowed, and it goes also for the kids, you're allowed to, if you purchase these, you can download, print, cut, glue, make a journal, make whatever you want to make, as long as it's made with your hands, glue, scissors and everything, sewing, you can sell and you can even give that project that you created away. What you can't do is put this into a digital program, add things you want to add, like it's the same when you glue on, or um, use templates to make something else. That is not allowed. It's not allowed with the freebies. It's not allowed with the digitals from my store. And I don't believe there is any creator that allows that. Um, I just want to say that because people do tend to think that even if it's a little tiny bit, they put on something they created themselves or more tiny bits. They think uh, it's okay to do that. And I, I don't think it's okay. Um, because where you draw the line, if you like, is it three things okay, but five is not, or is five okay and six is not? Um, I created this. It is my. Um, I own this as a as a creator, and it's it's mine. And if you want to use it, print it, make something, but do not alter it digitally in any form or way, or give away these as freebies or prizes yourself. I'm really sorry I have to say this um, thing, but apparently it was necessary. I had issues again, but um, I hope it is all clear. Um, I hope you all will join the Challenge Your Art Challenges in August. And it's going to run for the whole month of August. And about the other challenge we did in July, the summer jam challenges the winners drawings going to be on august 4th so tomorrow in all the three facebook groups that join in with the challenges and i believe i have everything covered that i wanted to say yeah i did so this is it for today um i hope you liked the video i hope you want to join the challenge um i'm going to list these with a special discount also going to add a special section with the other things that go very well with these. So if you already have the other ones, you can check if it goes with these. Um, or if you want the other ones too, you can purchase them. And I still have a sale thing going on. I usually have a lot of sales going on, but I still have the purchase six by three thing going on. So if you put like six digitals in your basket, it's going to take off 50% before checkout. You don't need to add a code. It is still valid. It is certainly valid until tomorrow, but I'm going to uh, put that um, seal thing 643 in the whole month of August too. So just so you know. Yeah, now I have said everything I wanted to say. Um, thanks again for watching. I hope you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. Maybe you want to leave me a comment. And if you're new to my channel and you're thinking, hmm, maybe I can subscribe to the channel, you're welcome to do so. I would be very happy if you did. And I hope to meet you in the Facebook group too. I wish you all a very happy day. Uh, stay safe, stay creative. Greetings from the Netherlands. And I hope to see you the next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.